Anil Kumar, welcome to my series on vectors. Here is a question from previous test paper. Find and describe the intersection of the given pair of lines. If they do not meet, determine whether they are parallel and distinct or skew. So these are the two lines given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, if you look into these directions, the first one, the direction is 1, 2, minus 3. The other one, let me call them as M1 and M2, the direction is minus 2, 1, and this one is 1, right? So, so that means that their directions are not scalar multiples. So, if they are coplanar, they will meet. If they are in parallel planes, then they will not meet, right? So let's figure out the point of intersection now. So uh, let's write down the first line, uh, which is given to us as r equals 2, 2 minus 3, 0, plus t, 1, 2 minus 3, right? So we can write this as x equals 2, 2 plus t, y equals 2 minus 3, plus 2t and z equals 2, 0 minus 3t. Correct. The other line given to us is, let's rewrite that also here, it helps. So I'm rewriting this. We are given for the second line, x equals to minus 1 minus 2u, y equals to 1 plus u and z equals to 2 plus u. Now, if they are intersecting, then their x values should be exactly same, right? So that means we'll equate the x values. We get one equation, which is 2 plus t equals to minus 1 minus 2u. Let's rearrange. We get here 2u plus t equals to taking 2 on this side, minus 3, correct? Now, let's look into the second equation, which is which for us is minus 3 plus 2t equals to 1 plus u. Now we are comparing the second equation, right? Okay. So, so we did the first equation. Okay. Now we are comparing the second equation, right? This one. So as far as... Uh, so let's rearrange this. So we get uh, u on this side. So we get minus u plus 2t equals to 1 plus 3s4. Correct. So now we have these two equations to work with. Correct. Okay. We could do elimination by first. So let's say, let's say we want to eliminate uh, u from here. So let me multiply this equation by 2. So I could write this as minus 2u plus 4t equals to 8, right? So I did times 2, this particular equation. And now what am I going to do is, let's do it on the right side. So, so we have this equation 2t. Let me just, yeah, okay. So we have the first equation as 2u plus t equals to minus 3. Well, let's call this equation as 3, and we'll call this as 4. Uh, and the fourth equation as minus 2u plus 4t equals to 8. All right? So these are our equation 3 and 4. Now we can add them up. So if we add them up, you get what? 5t equals to 5, and that gives us t equals to 1, correct? So we get a value of t as 1. Now, let's say this is one value which we have got for t. Let's call this as equation 5. So let's substitute this value of t and find u from one of our equations. So I'm going to substitute this value of t in equation 3. So we'll do equation 3 and 5. 
So in 3, we have 2u plus t. So instead of t, I'm writing 1 equals to minus 3. So 2u equals to minus 3 minus 1. 2u equals to minus 4. u equals to minus 4 by 2, which is minus 2. So we get a value of u as minus 2, right? Now the idea here is that if the third equation is satisfied, then we have a solution. So what we found here is basically that from the first two equations that the value of t is equal to 1 and the value of u is minus 2. Now we shall substitute this in the third equation and check if z coordinates are matching or not, correct? So that's the whole idea. So let's check. If they are matching, then it's a point of intersection, otherwise not. So the first one is z equals to 0 minus 3t. So if I substitute 1 here, I get minus 3 times 1, which is minus 3. The second one here is z equals to 2 plus u. That means 2. u value is minus 2. So instead of u, if I write minus 2, I get 0. Now, as you can clearly see that the z value of minus 3 and z value of 0 do not match, right? So that is not equal. Since z value doesn't match the lines do not intersect. Clear. Now the idea here is that the lines are not parallel, right? They don't intersect. That means what? That means they are skew lines. So skew lines are distinct in parallel planes. you get an idea, right? So that is what it is. To give you a picture of how it should be looked like, I mean, you could think like this, like we have a box here, right? So a line could be on the top of the box. The other line could be on a surface, which is right in the bottom, kind of like this. Do you see that? So these lines, since they are in parallel planes, they will never intersect. And these lines are the skew lines. So that's the whole idea. So I hope that concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.